Hi. First of all, I know what you're going to say. It was that kind of week in the end. Okay. Um, now let's see if I can actually um, make a vid post and actually post the daggone thing uh, instead of re-recording it 5,000 times before deleting it. <laughs> I have to get to bed soon, too. So, you know, work in the morning. Um, so... On Thursday, it seems that I post a little bit quick. Uh, my goofy ass decided at 11 o'clock at night to open up the mail. You know, the mail that had been sitting on my couch for like one or two days. I decided to open it all of a sudden. Uh, I'm horrible about mail. Um, I always have been. Uh, I'll let it sit in the postal box forever. Uh, a couple of years ago, I actually had my uh, uh, postal box shut down and had to go and reopen it <laughs> because when you leave your mail sitting in there for five weeks, uh, the postal worker gets tired of trying to cram mail in there and uh, they take it all out, they wrap it up, and they dump it in a box um, in their own little area and wait for you to come and get it, which is pretty much what happened. So, I'm not uber paranoid about the mail, but I'm paranoid enough about it that I at least make sure to get it once every one or two weeks. <laughs> and then I forget about it. Um, <laughs> I had it put in my kid's backpack, and he, like, carried it to school with him, like, all throughout Thursday. And I had no idea. I completely forgot about it. Uh, that's how good I am about mail. Uh, anyway, it sat on my couch you know, for a couple of hours, and I decided, well, heck with it, I'll open up the mail, you know, three-quarter of it's probably junk anyway. It wasn't junk. First of all, I found out uh, that the um, things that we were supposed to get, the papers that we were supposed to have filled out by our workplaces, was due on the 18th. Now, think about what day Thursday was. Right. Thursday was the 25th. So, pretty much a week had gone by, and yeah, I had just gotten the notification, which means that I, I picked up, I was actually good, and I picked up the mail, like, literally a week before, which means that as soon as that hit my mailbox, it was due. Which means that when I called on the 10th, they gave me eight more days <laughs> to have this proof. And, well, we already know. My work still hasn't filled out. They're never going to. I'm actually faxing in, you know, the information and jumping through more hoops to get the information that I work there from somebody who doesn't even know me that I have to prove who I am. Yeah, it's, it's a headache. Basically, I have to prove who I am to my workplace to get my work records. Yeah. So that's going to take a while. Now, for some reason, uh, I think I mentioned this, Hubby's uh, uh, workplace already filled his out, but he got it on Monday. <laughs> so he got it on the 23rd. So it, it, it didn't make, you know, he, he got on the 22nd, I believe. So it didn't make a difference anyway. It was already four days late. So, yeah. First I discover, you know, that was my food stamp paperwork. But that's okay. I knew food stamps are going to be cut off. Now I'm just hoping that we'll be able to feed the house and catch up on all the bills that we're still kind of behind on um, before, you know, they run out or they kick us off of them. But I discovered more fun, <laughs> yay, that has to do with uh, uh, state assistance. <clears throat> well, on the 31st, our insurance goes bye-bye. Now, you know what happens to people who don't have insurance. Yes, they get penalized. Um, isn't that lovely? Poor people get penalized more than anybody else. And we're still kind of technically poor. <laughs> Which means I'm looking anywhere from a $500 to $1,500 hit if I don't get more insurance soon. I mean, as in, soon. Now, here's the kicker. You're going to love this. I know I did. Hubby can get insurance through his work. He works full time. So he can get insurance through the company. 
it'll be sucky and it'll cost a lot, but he can still get insurance through the company. Now, albeit he makes 950, which means that he'll be down to like 725 by the time they get done giving him insurance. But it still boils down to we'll still be in the poor house, but he'll have insurance because he's full time. Guess who's not full time? Right. I'm not full time. So I can't get insurance to the company. So that just made the whole entire night. Ew. I mean, I opened up those two pieces of paper and I'm like, okay, uh, the, the food stamps I, get, I can't get too mad over. I mean, I already knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen and I kind of, you know, I eh, don't want it to happen, but it's going to happen. So that's fine. The insurance was completely out of the blue. I had absolutely no idea that was going to happen. Now, as you can guess, that was bad enough to kill my Thursday night. And this, of, of course, is after I've already posted my happy, happy, joy, joy, the whole entire day was great uh, post. <laughs> but I had one more piece of mail. You're gonna love this. This is a jury summons. <laughs> Yeah, I received a jury summons um, for the 12th of September. So, Hubby and I are clawing to get out of a hole. We both just got jobs. His job was cooperative and actually filled out paperwork. Mine has not been. He can get insurance through work. I can't. I'm still trying to get exercise and everything like that crammed in because, you know, Air Force, and I get a jury summons. <laughs> I don't know who I ticked off, but it must have really been good. Um, <laughs> I certainly hope that I enjoyed it. Um, let's see. I have this little thing of piece of paper at the bottom, you know, fill this out, you know, and I filled it out, and then on the back, it was like, if you think that you should have your jury duty put off, or, you know, uh, uh, you feel you're not eligible, blah, 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 fill this out, and I did, and I wrote a letter explaining, you know, my husband and I were out of work for a couple of months, we're really super behind, we've, you know, we've got a family, we're trying to get our heads above water, and this will seriously keep us from doing that whether it's a day whether it's a week whether it's two weeks it's going to make it impossible you know with twelve dollars and fifty cents a day you know it's going to be impossible for us to catch up i don't know if that's going to work i really don't i mean they might just go oh well sorry about that you know still bring your paperwork in so, either which way, whether I hear from, especially if I don't hear from them saying you're dismissed, I've got to go in there on the 12th, figure out where to freaking park. I hate going downtown, number one. I hate going down there. It is such a super pain. I hate going down there. Um, and then find a place to park and then get into the Justice Building at 9.30 in the morning. That's going to be funny. Um, and I have to take that piece of paper with me. So, needless to say, Thursday night went from yay to no. <laughs> I woke up on Friday morning a complete and total bear. I was so, I was still so super pissed from the night before. It, like, took me forever to get to sleep because I was just so, oh my god, food stamps gone, insurance gone, I can see penalties, uh, jury duty, holy shit, how am I going to get everything together? Um, so most of Friday did not go swimming. <laughs> I was just, oh my God, I was in such a mood. And then to top it all off, and this was so super weird for like several days, this shoulder wanted to scream at me. I mean, every time I lifted it above a certain height or extended it forward or anything. And I figured it's from literally doing this all day. I mean, putting things in the oven, taking them out of the oven, putting them up on top of here. Okay. It's what I call, um, you're going to love this term. I call it <laughs> minimum wage physical taxation syndrome, as in anybody who makes minimum wage or even just slightly above, which that's pretty much what I make, slightly above, um, 
we get severe repetitive injuries and I mean and this is really especially here in uh, uh, in Louisville it's really common because a lot of what we have here are warehouses and factories and things like that so uh, doing the same motion over and over and over just really kills the muscles that you're using and I'm not smart enough to switch to the other side you know I mean generally this is what I used to you know I use my left to open and lift and everything else and I use my right to do everything else well I wasn't smart enough to switch off so I thought I just really done my shoulder in it. and I'm like okay and this is like the first full week that I've completed and I've done this to my shoulder in this amount of time uh, I actually think I popped the bad boy out of place because I went to go um, lay down on Friday night and I moved and I felt something go pop and I remember thinking to myself that's probably not good and then I fell asleep but uh, it's actually better it moves now so I don't know maybe I popped it out of joint but it was murder on Friday uh, I literally had to hold the arm like this the whole entire time and use this I had to use my left the whole time because I just thought I was gonna die every time I used that shoulder um, so Friday was miserable. I never went for my exercises on Friday. Instead, I came home and made useless phone calls. First thing I did was call the Medicaid office, and I'm like, look, I understand my food stamps are going to be shut off. That's whatever. That's cool. Um, what happened to my insurance and why? And she was like, well, you make 9 he makes 9 50 and I'm like, okay, what about my kids? She's like, oh, your kids are fine. So that's a relief. I mean, they still got a passport, and it isn't it isn't due for review until August thirty first of twenty seventeen. So we don't make too much for them to receive passport, which is a huge relief. Um, but we make too much for hubby and I to be on Medicaid, which, like, we need another freaking bill. Um, so <laughs> I spoke with her about looking into insurance it's not going to be through his work because it's just going to be so super super expensive and she transferred me and I sat on the phone for like 20 30 minutes before finally giving up I mean all I got was hold music for like 20 30 minutes and of course that's the whole point uh, when you call any government office and they leave you on hold is to make you go away <laughs> which is what I did I just I was like okay yeah I'm done I went and I uh, uh, did a couple of errands, picked up the kiddos, and, and, and that was pretty much my Friday. Uh, my shoulder popped into place later on that night, and that was my Friday. Um, Friday was pretty miserable. <laughs> but this weekend, I just did a reset. I was like, hell with it. It's, it's close to the time. Hell with it. I'll just start off again on Monday. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I've got my workout clothes already packed. Um, I've got everything already set up um, and set out where I can get to it. And I'm just going to go in tomorrow. And then when I get off of work, uh, I know a shortcut to get there and a shortcut to get back home. So that always helps. So I'll just head down to the Y and then I'll come, I mean, I'll take half an hour for my run, come home, do some push ups, do some sit ups. And then go, you know, take a breather for about half an hour before I have to go get the kiddos. This weekend hasn't been too bad, so I really can't say, you know, it's been that kind of, you know, that kind of last couple of days. Because this weekend really wasn't too bad. I went ahead and uh, made a copy of my driver's license so I can have proof of who I am to get my work records. I might as well just go ahead and send those in. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and send those in. Uh, just to say I did, just to cover our butts so they can't find some reason and take away the kiddos insurance. Um, I got that done, dropped off old library books and picked up new ones. Um, I really love the, uh, I just have to say this, I really love uh, the automatic detective, so I picked up some more books uh, uh, by Martinez just because that was so good. Uh, I didn't get any writing done this week. <laughs> Said I just sat here and I like vegged with the kiddos and we watched Stargate like all weekend. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done that, so 
hopefully I'm recharged. Uh, every time I tried to sleep in this weekend, um, either the cats woke me or the kiddos woke me. So that didn't really work out in my favor. Um, but I'm definitely in a different mental space than I was, say, you know, Thursday night and all of Friday. Um, now I am going to have to, when I do come home tomorrow after doing my exercises, I have to call my doctor's office. This is why. On the 22nd, I had two conflicting appointments. I actually had to change my eldest's appointment. Uh, he was supposed to have a dental appointment. I actually had to change it so that I could do a follow-up appointment recommended by the ER doc for hypertension, which I can tell you right now, the hypertension was being in a hospital and sitting there for 45 minutes. I, I hate that. Uh, but I was supposed to do a follow-up uh, with my regular doctor. I wasn't able to make the appointment, so I reset it. And because that was, you know, that was weak. The kiddos were sick. That just, that wasn't going to happen. So I went ahead and I reset it. <sighs> move the kiddos appointment for absolutely nothing. Well, he was sick, so I can't say that. I didn't move it for absolutely nothing. He was sick, so he wouldn't have been able to go in the dentist anyway. I was just coming down off of the last of my strep meds, so, you know, I wasn't going to be, you know, walking him into a dental office, little kids, anyhow. But, I mean, I had re I had set up this appointment, and then I canceled it because the kiddos were sick, and I reset it for the 31st, the very day <laughs> my insurance expires. So, I'm just going to have to cancel that doctor's appointment altogether. Um... That's all right. I really wasn't looking to go get poked and prodded anyway over nothing. But at the same time, I mean, I can see that this is really going to be a headache until I get this set up. And with the schedule I've got and with the hours I've got, it's going to be a while before I can get insurance. But you can't, you can't make the government understand that. That's my only problem. <laughs> I was hoping to get some writing done this weekend that didn't happen. Hopefully, I mean, I had like whole reams of just stuff I was going to yak about, but obviously that's not going to happen either. <laughs> but I got the main points out of the way. I mean, opened up my mail, life went kablooey. Um, really looking forward to the $500 being yanked out uh, of my uh, of my income tax uh, when it comes around. <laughs> really looking forward to that. Um, I'm just hoping that, uh, uh, the collection agency takes that 50 so I can call them. I'm hoping the next time I try to reach out to Medicaid, hopefully before the 31st, they'll actually pick up the phone. That would be lovely. I also need to go ahead and call my insurance company and take full liability off of my Jeep. I got that when I bought the Jeep. Uh, because that's what the uh, uh, that's the dealership insisted on, and I can understand that. Technically, until I have the vehicle paid off, it's still their vehicle, so I totally get that. But I'm paying like 180 for this Jeep, and she's an older model, and there's just there's no need for any of that. I'm not going to receive the vehicle's not worth that much full liability just I mean I'll probably get maybe 50 bucks more if somebody actually hits her so uh, I'm gonna have that lower because we just cannot afford to be paying you know two hundred dollars altogether uh, in insurance two hundred and like two hundred and three dollars altogether for life insurance and car insurance I just I can't do that so tomorrow my plans are reset. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to go do my exercises. And uh, I, I am rather excited because I did uh, do uh, uh, 20, 22 minutes. And it was like, you know, two minutes of running and two minutes of walking. I'm hoping to slowly expand that. But it was only 20 minutes, but I got there late. Uh, and I wasn't really sure how much time I had to play with. So, uh, I do know how it times out now. Um, so that's, 
that's all the good. I do know how it times out, so I'm gonna be able to. I'm gonna be able to get there, get home, and then I'll start making phone calls. First thing I gotta do is cancel that doctor's appointment. I've got to. I don't have a choice now. Next thing I've got to do is set up new insurance. Don't have a choice on that either. Then call my other insurance company and get everything lowered in my car. It's not going to affect this month, but hopefully they can get that kicked in for next month because that's just, whew, that's $200 out the door that, no. I mean, no. <laughs> so I'm not going to make any of the writing that I want to make. Um, but I am getting some ideas, so let's just hope the muse actually cooperates for me. Uh, let's hope that I can actually run for half an hour straight by the time <laughs> a month and a half is up, um, so that I can uh, so I can do what I want to do, so I can get where I uh, where, where I want to be. Um, life would change a lot. I mean, I have been thinking about that. Life would change a lot right around that time. But uh, uh, I guess that's a bridge I'll have to burn when I come to it. Um, so yes, just another vid post of useless blithering. Um, and me being too lazy to type. Yeah, that's usually the best reason. Um, but I'll go ahead and I will let you guys go and stop blithering at you endlessly. Uh, but I, I, I don't know. I just got clamped on this idea of I want to do a vid post. And I utterly, utterly failed <laughs> to actually post it uh, on Friday because it was just, it was that bad of a day. <laughs> it just, it, it wasn't going to happen. Um, and it wasn't going to happen on Saturday. And it was, <laughs> so this is the best time to do it. But uh, hopefully I can get out of jury duty. Food stamps I already know are a no-go. Hopefully I can get the insurance and I can cancel this appointment and I can change my car insurance without too much of a hassle. So keep your fingers crossed on that. Uh, I've been looking on some of the prompts that I have for fiction, uh, both Hurt Comfort Bingo, The Darkest Night, and Who Contest. So the Who Contest I probably won't make, um, <coughs> but that's okay. I don't mind. I'm just hoping that I can get the muse rolling again because then I'll actually feel normal once more because I haven't felt normal in a while. Other than that, we're doing fine. Um, I'm still looking for another job so that I, you know, not doing the part-time thing because that's essentially what I'm listed as, is part-time. I make about 34 hours, which is okay uh, in a way, uh, but... I don't want to be stuck doing this forever. I can do it for the next month and a half, if need be. Um, hopefully, at, after that point, I'll be in the Air Force where I want to be. I won't have to worry about that, and I'll be training for something even better. Um, but, like I said, I was going to let you guys go. So, keep your fingers crossed for me that tomorrow goes exactly as I want it to. Uh, I hope you all get some good rest. And um, I will be, of course, seeing you all tomorrow, answering posts and answering comments. Um, just remember that I love you guys, and take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. Um, I'll see you tomorrow.